what up what up what's going on um gonna do my video where i show the stuff that i got from the first box but no music tonight i just got a lot of a lot of other stuff to show and other stuff to talk about hold on a sec here so i was planning on going through another box by this time but plans changed a kid in the roommate's class a roommate goes to a school a preschool thing and a kid had COVID. The kid's okay. He was non-symptomatic. But they canceled, uh, they canceled the school for the whole week. So a lot of kind of a last spur of the moment thing. We went down to San Diego because we got year-long passes. Um, hold on real quick here. I'm just throwing it out there. We got year-long passes uh, to go to SeaWorld. And I still had points left for hotel night. So we went down to San Diego for one, you know, two days, one night. And brought the roommate to SeaWorld. Much better trip than it was last time. Last time was really packed. This time wasn't. He was in a better mood. I was in a better mood. So uh, just got back a little bit ago. And uh, I work for the next three days. So I try to stay up pretty late the night before. So I can make sure that I'm well rested. And I sleep a lot before I go to work. So anyway. Um, what's going on here? So I want to show this first. This is stickers from the first box. This is stickers, all, all those stickers. Let me move it up a little bit. And this with all the cub stickers. I hold on to cub stickers. I hold on to stickers in general. I don't know why, I wish I didn't. But this was cub stickers from that. So uh, we got a lot of worthless fucking cub stickers. Next thing I got, oh, let me do this first. Let me do this first. I'm all over the place here. So last week, the wife went into a different Target and found a bunch of the Fairfield um, 2, the blister packs, so two packs of uh, Series 2 and a bonus card. And she didn't know what it was. I figured it. I knew what it was. So I told her to just buy one just in case. So here's what I got out of that. And I, I had these set aside because I was going to do a Series 2 break for the two hangers that I had. I'm still going to do that, but I need to get this out of the way eventually. So we got a Miguel Cabrera, a Bryce Harper, a Zach McKinstry. There's a Vladdy. She she selected this particular blister pack because of the Cubs, and there's a Wilson Contreras bonus card in the top. There's a McCutcheon. There's a Jake Cronenworth rookie, and then the big card or the bigger hit was a Mount Castle Chrome. So that's not bad. I didn't have this Mount Castle Chrome. So that was a $5.99 blister pack that the wife got for me. Uh, what else? Pickups, pickups. I'll save that. So I was finishing up, I was trying to finish up a um, stadium club set. And let me take a sip. I had to have a beer or two before my, before my life goes from being fun Craig to work Craig. First beer in a couple days. Oh, wow. So I needed a couple cards to finish up one of the, the series for 1992 Stadium Club. I needed two cards. I paid like a dollar, dollar and a quarter each. I needed a Kirby Puckett and a yellowing top holder. And then I needed a Frank Thomas. This is not the correct Frank Thomas. They sent me the wrong Frank Thomas. I'm not going to complain though because as it happened when I was leafing through the um, the LCS the other day when I uh, picked up the, the card collection, I saw the Frank Thomas that I needed in the quarter box, so I'll just pick that up the next time I'm there. Not a big deal. Take more time to complain about it than anything else. So off camera, I opened up 1992 Stadium Club Series 1, and it was miserable. Opening cards are supposed to be fun. Out of that whole box of cards... Open all there was a sealed box, whatever, all 36 packs. There were 12 cards that I would consider to be uh, cards that I keep. Um, and three of those cards were two Deion Sanders and a Mark Grace. And uh, or was it two Grace? But three of the cards were cards that some people don't even collect. So it was just miserable. The cards were sticking together. I'm only like four or five cards short of the set, so that was good. But I just brought these with me to remind me that of that miserable box of Series 1. And the first thing I saw when I went to the LCS was um, a, a sealed wrapped 
box of that same thing, 1992 Stadium Club Series 1, and I started like shuddering because it was so bad. Um, so I ordered a couple Sandbergs last week. The other one, we get some of our mail at one place and some of the mail at the wife's parents' house. I think it's probably there, but the other Sandberg, but I got this Sandberg. This is a National Treasures Panini, so no logo, I know. National Treasures Sandburn, 21 out of 99. Still got the wrapping on it. And it says game used, so the enclosed game used material is guaranteed by Panini. So we have the the double, is that, I don't know if that's a jersey or something else, but we got the bat, a little jersey, a little something else. So this is cool. I generally don't collect too much past 2016 for Sandburn or go looking for it, but I saw this and got it for a solid price. And then the other one that I picked up was one that I kind of had wanted for a while and forgotten about it. But so I got that Sandberg. And then last week I went to Big Lots and I found a, a whole box of Don. The, the three fat packs that I opened up at Donruss before, I found a whole nother box of fat packs of those and like five packs of these. So I hid like eight packs or 10 packs total. And then when I went back after three days of work, I kind of was hoping that they would be gone because I didn't want to shell out like 150 bucks on cards, and they were gone. I was disappointed at the same time, too. There's only one pack left, and it was this pack of Playoff. So I'll open that for another date. Um, I don't think unless it's like a rare insert, there's any huge hits in here, but I want to get some of those maybe 2020 rookies again from Playoff. And then I lied, I broke my promise. I did buy something new. Um, I don't know if I mentioned this before. I did buy something new that I said I wasn't going to. I hid these at Walmart, one of these and then the Mega Box. They were both there. I put the Mega Box back on the shelf, but I bought this for $22, I think. So I'm just, I got a box of Bowman Platinum from last year. Uh, hobby, not a hobby, uh, a Mega Box with an autograph in it. So maybe I'll do a Platinum break sometime. So set those to the side. Back to the, the cards. I'm going to show you pretty much everything that I that got out of it. I got those stickers. Just put the Sandberg over there. Get rid of some of the stuff here. Okay. So those are the stickers. These are the whole stack of Cub stickers. I'm only showing you these because I've never got these out of a collection before. I've never bought these before. It's a whole big stack of uh, Looney Tune cards. I'd never seen these before, honestly. Comic, oh yeah, comic ball cards, Nolan Ryan and Reggie. I don't think these have any value, even though, I mean, anything with Nolan Ryan on it generally has some value, but most of these cards just have Reggie Jackson on it. So, probably gonna throw these in the donation. Oh, a couple backwards in there. Okay, I'm gonna kinda go through these really quick, but I'm gonna pretty much show, there's just a ton of stuff. Um, Hold on one sec here. Damn it, I should have put these together. Hold on real quick. Okay. So I already showed you these at the beginning. Uh, I mean, these cards aren't worth serious big money, but I only paid... So what did I... Don't, I don't think I mentioned it. I paid a total of 50 bucks for everything. I had about 15 to $20 in stuff that I was going to buy. And then he said, I'll just throw that in, if you, you know, with that collection. So, oh, okay. So it was 50 bucks for everything. And I had over $15 of stuff already. So, I mean, really it was $35 for the collection. But I did not have this card. It's very good condition. Love it. I mean, it's not really a Roger Maris card or a Hank, but it's still 1970s. So, and then we had that Michael Jordan U.S. Olympian cards. And then I also found this. So there's another one of these in bad condition. They had this U.S. Olympian card set in there. I'll show you more of those to come. So these are the cards that I found that I needed for my sets. So I, I'm, I go through and do everything all at once with each box. So I go through and see what I need for sets. Not all these are uh, star cards. So here's some older car. Oh, I found this card. This isn't for the set. I was going to say that I don't know if that's Play-Doh or Spackling, 
but this card was in there with this green shit on it, so. Um, I, oh, not this one. This is an Eddie Murray card. Like, I keep whopping still. Yeah, I know. So this card, I love this card. I don't know why I love it so much. It's just really cool. So it's, what, 82 tops? Mike Schmidt, Eddie Murray. I think I found two of these. So I needed this for the set. I just, I just love this card for some reason. It's a cool card. And then we have other players that, uh, I hold on to. A lot of Tim Raines in there. Willie Stargell. There is a Tom Seaver, Jack Morris. Uh, this is that same card we just looked at. Had two of them. I don't know why there's a Brett Butler right there. Oh, because I needed these cards for my set too. God damn it. I'm so unorganized right now. Um, yes, I needed all these Fleer cards for my set. I needed all these. I am looking at the cards for my set. See, I don't even know what I'm doing. So I needed these. Here are some um, 84s. Make sure. No, 85s. I'm sorry. I completed the 84 set before. I still needed a couple for 85, and these are some of the cards that I needed. Tony Gwynn. Got a couple of those Tony Gwynns. Uh, and then, once again. So those are cards that I needed for the sets that I put together. So I figured I'd keep those out and put those in later. And then here's the, the other cards that I didn't need for sets or doubles and so forth. Give me a sec here. In interesting stuff in here. Interesting stuff. Ah. Okay. Give me one sec. I know this is riveting, but... Okay. So we just have... We have a uh, Johnny Bench and Tom Seaver card. Very cool. Steve, uh, Steve and Steve Carlton and Carlton Fisk. Kind of confusing there. Willie Stargell again. He looks like he's 75 years old. Yaz. Joe, I, keep, I hold on to Joe Morgan. Ferguson Jenkins for the Cubs. We have a very elderly Phil Negro. We have Forrest Gump. <laughs> we have Forrest Gump playing ping pong. Daniel C. Miller. He's from the U.S. Olympian cards. Hopefuls. Forrest Gump. So Joe Morgan. Mike Schmidt. Uh, poorly missed cut, but otherwise good condition. Winfield's banged up, but nothing. Mike Schmidt, 81. Winfield. Joe Nico, cool card. Got Ted Simmons. I normally don't hang on to Ted Simmons. I don't know what I'll do with these, but I just thought it was kind of cool. And this, this Simmons card, I really like this card. I just like the color on it, the way that it looks, kind of pops out to me. Um, very, very good condition for the age that it's at. Uh, so I like that Simmons card. We got an Oro playing golf. We couldn't have a video or a collection find without Oro playing golf. We have Kirby Puckett playing pool. Uh, what do we have here? Mo so here's those U.S. Olympic cards. I may actually just put the whole set together because I pretty much have the set. As long as I can find the Larry Bird because I couldn't find the Larry Bird out of it. There's Barkley. Stockton. Oscar De La Hoya. Another Stockton. This weird card that I think I showed before is like a fake card. A Will Clark in the USA team, like a 1985 style card. So I thought that was cool. There's that Nevers again. There's a Wrigley Field triple play card. I never, fortunately, pull triple play cards out of collections, but I did. Remember when I got these hockey cards? I called it the worst card that I've ever seen. <laughs> so I found one of these. So this is just an older hockey card. Uh, I don't know why I hung on to this. This was the only, there was a nice stack of hockey, um, but this was the only older one. And then uh, I didn't go through the football or basketball yet because it wasn't really that much. So I'll probably take all the football and basketball and do a quick video on what I find in that later. But uh, I come to America, play hockey, buy a horse. What a great country. Okay. That was like a like a Russian accent. Sorry, I apologize for that. Okay, so what I found here, I found some Star Wars cards. So these are 1977. That's a Darth Vader sticker. That is a Chewbacca card. This is a basic one. There's another Chewy card, and this card. This is a very famous card. This card, the air called, is called the Goldenrod card and it can go up for a couple hundred bucks. This is not the air card. I was pretty disappointed. I was excited to see it, but um, 
the air card, it looks like C-3PO has a boner because there's a piece of metal sticking out. And that if you want to look it up on eBay, 1977 uh, C-3PO card, look for the air card, but this is not the air card, unfortunately. So that was in there. There was a dinosaur card. There's the jug, there's a Jarhead's Jokes. Slopacana, 100% orangutan juice. <laughs> okay, we had some King Kong cards. These are pretty old. These are uh, 1976. I didn't look at the date before. King Kong cards. And there's a Battlestar Galactica card that was in there. It looks old. I'm not going to. Here is a card from Indiana Jones through Pro Set that looks. The card is nothing and probably not worth anything. Okay. So that was where the non really sports cards that I found in there. The Star Wars cards are pretty cool. I like those. Let's just go through some more of these. Cowlipkin. Here's my Graces I found. Here's my Sandbergs. No, no Sandbergs that I didn't already have. But any Sandberg is a blessing from God. So they're flying all over the place. Poorly miscut there. A couple of those. Oh, that fell. We have an 85 All-Star. So that's cool. Here, let's put those away. Wade Boggs. These are some of the score. So, decent amount of Barry Bonds cards. If there's anything damaged in here, there's another Tony Gwynn. If there's anything damaged, there's a later stage when I put them in with my collections of players I keep. If I already have that card, then I'll just toss it if it's damaged. Once again, I hold on to Morgans. There's Carlton Fist, Tim Raines. There's a Quisenberry. I still hold on to Wathen and Quisenberries. So I don't know why. The Pete Rose. A couple Pete Rose team cards. A very nice condition. Reggie Jackson, 84 tops card. That was nice. Uh, here we go, Fisk. Let me put these away over here again. And we're almost done. So I'm hoping that um, the next video that I plan on doing, because I need to stay away from the card shop and the stores for a little bit. I need to get through what I have now and re get reorganized again because stuff is starting to pile up. A lot of Sean, Dun a lot of Dunsons, a lot of uh, Andre Dawson's. A lot of Dawson's. Oh, here's some more Cub stickers. These are the Cub stickers. I'll put those over with those. These are the ones that I was took out from his box there that I was part of the 15 plus order that I was going to buy. Luckily I don't get too much triple play and that's King Griffey Jr. in decent condition for triple play. And then when they were stars at Dale Murphy is, I don't even know if I'll hold on to that. We've seen these cards before. Did I miss? There's a, there's a couple cool score uh, Bo Jackson highlight cards that I liked. That I, I have, I just hadn't seen for a while. And then we have Fleer, my most hated set. I don't even put together. This is the one set that I won't collect, is 1990 Fleer. I just hate it. And there's a lot more Fleer. I'll keep the star cards. I'm not saying that I'm going to burn the cards or anything. of Barry Bonds. Pocket. Nolan Ryan. There's cows. A lot of Ripkins in here. Just players that I keep. Okay, almost done. Some more Fleer. Like I said, just a ton of stuff that I got to go through. And I sell lots of players on EB on EBBB, eBay, uh, including cub lots of extras that I have. Uh, so a lot of these will go into that. Here's some more terrible scorecards of just star players. I think I have a couple more. Older cards left in the stack. Oh, there's that bow. There's that bow highlight card that I was talking about. That's cool. There's two of those in there. Molitor. The Al Padrique Gold Cup card for Paul on the Past is Alive. And then I also didn't, I don't know if I mentioned, I keep on saying that. I also bought a couple packs there that was part of what I was going to purchase that he threw in. Uh, some bad packs so I can do another Breaking Bad. So that's one of my next videos. Is I'm going to do another uh, recap of what I pulled. Some uh, Top Series 2. We'll do a Breaking Bad episode. I have another little video I want to do for fun. 
yes, I hold on to the Bart Giamardi card. So I didn't have any really like amazing stuff for like the finale here. I think the best thing was the C3PO non boner card. And then of course the hockey cards are always fun. But anyway, so I got a little bit of organizing to do. Uh, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Um, I have, I'm going to show you right here. I have another box that I'm going to just start going through. I'm not going to finish it tonight, but I do try to stay up before I have to go to work the next day. Anyway, thank you very much for watching my bad videos. I appreciate it. I'll talk to you later.